Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming today. I'm Fahri from Bandung Institute of Technology. Today, I will present to you our research entitled Cost Analysis for Warranty Products Protected by Lemon Laws Considering Failure Interaction. This research is motivated by the many cases of recurrent failures to new products. For example, a new automotive product protected by a dealer warranty often comes with an unseen defect that causes failures to the product components. We consider that the components are categorized as critical and non-critical components. In many real-life multi-component systems, the failure of a component has some effect on one or more of the remaining components. For example, the piston ring failure will lead to engine failures. If the dealer or the manufacturer repairs the product unsatisfactory, then the failures tend to occur recurrently. Consequently, the customers could be in frustration and excessive expenditure due to the repeated product failures. The lemon laws emerge to cope with that situation. The lemon term in lemon laws means a chronically defective car that defies repair or is hard to diagnose, resulting in the buyer throwing in the towel. The state of Connecticut, USA, in 1982, was the first region that enacted the product warranty protected by the lemon law. Furthermore, the lemon law aims to protect customers from product failures that occur subsequently caused by a defective product that does not conform to the quality standards. The product turns lemon if either the recurrent failures have occurred, which means that the number of failures reaches the limit stated before, or the product has been out of service for more than 30 days due to the failed product is not satisfactorily repaired by the dealer or the manufacturer. In this research, we consider that the lemon occurs according to the condition number one. Since the lemon law is a standard regulation in some countries and regions, the manufacturer has no option unless to obey it. For a valid lemon claim made by the customer, the manufacturer should provide refund or a replacement of a failed product. As a result, the manufacturer is more likely to receive more claims and hence a higher warranty cost. The study of warranty cost analysis for a warranty product with lemon laws has not yet received much attention. Also, the failure interaction factor is often neglected by researchers in examining a surfacing strategy and its warranty cost due to its complexity. Furthermore, the contribution of this paper is to develop warranty cost models for a multi-component system protected by the lemon laws with failure interaction between components. We assume that the product is comprised of critical or C and non-critical or NC components. Then, the failure distribution of C and NC components follow a bull distribution. All failures before reaching the number of failure threshold are repaired minimally. The lemon condition is only triggered by the C component failures. Furthermore, the C component failure can be natural failure or induced by the NC component failure. In failure modeling, we consider that the product failures can be either a natural failure or an induced failure. For example, for a failure number threshold equal to 4, the C component failures represented by black dots on the horizontal line follows a non-homogeneous Poisson process. Meanwhile, the failure on C component caused by NC component failures follows binomial distribution with X-induced failure successes in N trials. Considering the natural failure and also the induced failure, then we obtain the probability density function for C component that is given by this equation. Then, after several derivations, the cumulative distribution function for C component is given by this equation. Meanwhile, the cumulative distribution function for NC component is given by this equation. Furthermore, the survival function for both components, respectively, are given by those equations. We consider that a lemon low period is less than or equal to the warranty period. For example, in Singapore, lemon low period is 6 months while the warranty period is 12 months. Then, there are two conditions considered related to the lemon condition. Those are the lemon condition and also no lemon condition occurred. Then, we model the total warranty cost for refund scheme. In this scheme, the dealer or the manufacturer obliged to return the sales price if the sold product turns to be a lemon on the customer's hand. 
Hence, the warranty period ends immediately. Considering the lemon and no lemon condition, then we can obtain the expected total warranty cost for refund scheme by this equation. After that, we model the total warranty cost for replacement scheme. In this scheme, the dealer or the manufacturer obliged to replace the failed product with a new one if the sold product turns to be a lemon on the customer's hand. Hence, the warranty period will be renewed, which means that there is a renewal process in a replacement scheme. Considering the lemon and no lemon condition, then the expected total warranty cost for replacement scheme is given by this equation. For cost optimization, we consider that the expected warranty cost rate is given by this equation. This equation is an expression of the expected total warranty cost divided by the expected warranty length. Meanwhile, the expected warranty length can be obtained by considering the lemon and no lemon condition. Then, we can obtain the expected warranty length by this equation. Hence, the expected warranty cost rate for both refund and replacement schemes are given by those equations. Furthermore, the optimization problems are given by those equations. The objective of the optimization problem is to find the optimal lemon low period that could minimize the expected warranty cost rate. Then, the parameters value used in the numerical example are as follows. Using MATLAB to process the numerical example, we obtain the results. According to the results, the expected total warranty cost for the scenario 1 tends to decrease when the failure number threshold increases. Also, as the failure number threshold increases, the optimal lemon low period gets longer. This indicates that more failure threshold will give more opportunity for the manufacturer to repair the failures. And then, for the number threshold equal to 5, the lemon low period is longer than the standard lemon low period. For example, in Singapore, the lemon low period is equal 6 months. This shows that the surfacing strategy related to K value equal to 5 is sufficient to meet the regulation. Moreover, the results in scenario 2, especially for the expected total warranty cost, is lower than the scenario 1. This is due to the C component has higher cost elements rather than the NC component. Similar patterns hold for the replacement scheme. The expected total warranty cost decrease and the optimal lemon low period gets longer as the failure number threshold increases. However, the replacement scheme has higher expected total warranty cost than the refund scheme. This is due to the renewal process that occurs when the warranty period is renewed in the replacement scheme. To examine the effect of component reliability, we conducted a sensitivity analysis. For example, we used the refund scheme with the parameters in scenario 1 of the numerical example. We consider two cases represent the reliability improvement of components. First, we change the value of alpha sub C while alpha sub NC is fixed. In case 2, we did the opposite. The results show that the expected warranty cost rate in a refund scheme decreases if the reliability of C or NC component increases. However, the graph line of case 1 has a steeper slope rather than the case 2. And these patterns holds not only for refund scheme, but also replacement scheme. This pattern is due to the C component has higher repair and manufacturing costs. Finally, we can conclude that this study will help the manufacturer evaluate the surfacing strategy and cost policy effectiveness to cope with the standard lemon law regulation. Other than that, the product reliability is essential to reduce the warranty costs. The future research topics are as follows. First, the failure interaction considered in this work, or only the NC component can induce failures to the C component, needs to be extended which means allowing the C components to induce failures in the NC component. This work is currently underway and will be published soon. The next topic is the lemon low warranty, which considers the customer's preference to choose a refund or replacement skip. The other topic is the lemon condition considering the out of service time. Thank you.